On the 13th of July 2013, the world fell silent when the news broke that Corey Monteith was found dead. He was not only leaving behind a legacy as Finn Hudson on Glee, but also his doting girlfriend Leah Michelle. During their time together as a couple, their bond only seemed to get stronger. From how they fell in love to how she supported him through rehab, and what caused the actor's death to their plans for the future. Leah and Corey have a devastatingly beautiful love story. The year was 2009 and Glee was the new TV series that everyone was watching. We watched as a high school show choir performed their hearts out while dealing with controversial issues. We especially watched as Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith's characters, star quarterback Finn Hudson and overachiever Rachel Berry fell in love. After meeting on set, the pair became best friends. Even early on, romance rumors spiraled that the two leads were off-screen lovers. They both denied that there was anything more than friendship between them because, at the time, Leah was in a relationship with Theo Stockman. By 2011, the actor's relationship with Theo had run its course. Cue the tabloid fodder. Fans started speculating once again that the reason behind Michelle's split from her boyfriend was because she and Monteith were in love. This time, fans were kind of right. Although this wasn't what led to her breaking up with her ex, it was less than a year later that Leah and Corey finally stepped out as a couple. It was official. The actress shared the moment they knew they were going to be more than friends. One day we just looked at each other and we were like, you want to do this? We knew, she said. Shortly after their relationship was confirmed, the couple wasted no time and started jet-setting together. They traveled everywhere and anywhere they could while they weren't filming. During an interview, Michelle gushed over her relationship with Corey, saying that being with him felt like she had a net underneath her that allowed her to jump higher and go farther. I don't even remember a time when he wasn't my boyfriend. No one knows me better than Corey. He makes me feel like I can do anything. For the first time in my life, I feel settled and happy. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world, she said. Everything seemed like it was on the up and up for the duo. They were both happily in love and both successful stars. Unfortunately, Corey had some old demons that he'd been battling for some time. In March 2013, the actor decided to enter rehab for the second time to seek help for his substance abuse. His relationship with Leah proved stronger than ever as she stood by his side and vowed to be there for him every step of the way. I am grateful and proud he made this decision, she said. Allegedly, Michelle was the driving factor behind Monteith's decision to go to rehab, and she couldn't wait for him to get better so they could start building a future together. A couple of months after he was admitted, the actor came out of rehab sober and happy to be reunited with the love of his life. Sadly, this wouldn't be the end of his addiction. Corey was always open about his journey with substance abuse. Many wondered why he was so open with his past, and it was because he knew other people could relate to the truth of his life and where he came from. All the stuff that you had done in your youth? Yeah. Bad stuff. Bad stuff. Criminal stuff. Criminal stuff. The actor wanted to shed light on the way out of a difficult situation that he knew many kids were experiencing. The only reason he wanted fame was so he could inspire others. If I can inspire kids to do what they love to do and follow their dreams and follow their passions, that's the highest calling, he said. Monteith had a troubled adolescence involving substance abuse from age 13. His addiction caused him to drop out of high school, and his first stint in rehab came when he was 19, after an intervention by family and friends. By the time he was cast on Glee, he was a recovering heroin addict and alcoholic. I've lived a league of lives, a renegade teenage lifestyle, skipping school, drinking, all that kind of crap. Things started innocently like that. I found myself in some places that I am very fortunate I came back from, he said. The actor also explained why he fell into addiction. It was partly because his father abandoned him. Although, after season one of Glee aired, his father tried to reconnect with him. Uh, I, I, I hadn't found myself at all. I had no idea who I was. I had no idea where I was going. I was trying to, you know, and all of a sudden I was like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be this bad kid. His addiction was also never really about the substances. It was more about fitting in. Monteith took on the bad kid persona to attract friends. It was just influences from watching people around me and it was from lack of not really having a self-image at the time, he said. With all that said, he managed to stay sober for years before going into rehab in 2013. When he came out, he and Leah seemed happier than ever and seemed like he was on a good path. In July of that year, the actress went to Cabo San Lucas for a girl's trip, where she seemed happy and relaxed. It was clear that she didn't think that the love of her life may have been in trouble. 
On July 13, 2013, Corey was scheduled to check out of Hotel Fairmont in Vancouver following a seven-night stay. But when he failed to do so, hotel staff entered his room and found his body. The deceased has been identified as 31-year-old actor Corey Monteith, who achieved great fame on the popular TV series Glee. The actor's autopsy report noted that his death was an accidental mixed drugs toxicity involving heroin and alcohol. It was also stated that Corey's tolerance for substance abuse may have been lower than usual because he had stopped using since attending rehab. After his death, Leah grieved alongside her late boyfriend's family and helped them make the funeral arrangements. She also posted on Instagram a few weeks later, thanking her fans for helping her through the difficult time with their enormous love and support. Corey will forever be in my heart, she wrote. Glee also paid tribute to Corey and Finn Hudson. They decided the right thing to do was have the character pass away. If we can do this responsibly and help young people through these feelings, that's the best we can hope for, the director said. Michelle revealed that even to this day, she has never watched the Corey tribute episode of Glee. It's the only one I've not seen, because I think if I don't watch it, it just kind of feels like Finn is still there, she said. A few months after the actor's passing, many people wondered how Leah was staying so strong. She credited their love for each other because it felt like it morphed into strength for her. Every day when I go running, I feel like he's pushing me to run harder, she said. He was a really funny guy, had a great sense of humor, and he loved life, and he always took care of his friends and wanted his friends to be happy, so it's only right that we, you know, try and start to smile again. It seemed we discovered more about the pair's relationship after he passed than when he was alive. Michelle opened up about the couple's plans for the future. They talked about children, marriage, and what they would look like when they grew old and gray. When you're at that place in your life with someone, you talk about everything. I feel like I was given the best part of Corey, and I'm thankful for that, she shared. After Corey's time in rehab, allegedly Leah couldn't wait to have a baby with the love of her life, and always thought that he would have made a great father. With all those hopes and dreams gone, she shared a metaphor that was helping her through it all. A lighthouse doesn't save the ships. It doesn't go out and rescue them. It's just this pillar that helps to guide people home, she said. Since his death, Michelle has honored her late boyfriend each year without fail. Whether it was a heartfelt note or a sweet photo, she did not let a year pass without honoring him and keeping his memory alive. He's always in her heart and she misses him every day. On the second anniversary of his death, Leah gushed about her romance with Corey and defended his memory. It was heartbreaking. I only have happy memories of Corey. He was not his addiction. Unfortunately, it won. But that wasn't who he was, she said. Over the years, Michelle also decided to make Monteith's memory more permanent. She got multiple tattoos in his honor. She debuted a five tattoo in memory of her quarterback. The number five was Finn's football number on Glee. She also noted that their memories were the best of her life when she debuted it. She has Finn tattooed on her lower back and upper thigh. Yes, she got it twice. He was very special to me and also to the world, and we were very lucky to witness his incredible talent, his handsome smile, and his beautiful, beautiful heart. For the fourth anniversary of Corey's death, Leah shared that she couldn't believe it had already been four years. She posted a black and white Polaroid of them together and wrote, Love and miss you, Corey, every day, but today a little more. I know every day you're watching over me and smiling. Love you more, see? By his fifth anniversary, the actress kept her tribute simple by posting a photo of a sunset with a note that read, There are some who bring a light so great to the world that even after they have gone, the light remains. In 2019, Leah married Zandy Rich, and by 2020, the couple welcomed their first child together. Even with her new relationship and a baby, she still makes it a point to commemorate Corey's memory. Leah Michelle and Corey Monteith had a beautiful relationship filled with endless love. Even though it was cut short by absolute tragedy, Leah has managed to display a strength that she has hoped has helped others who have been through the same thing. Corey was an iconic part of Glee, and his memory will live on. We are happy that Leah has built a family of her own and continues to pay tribute to the man she loved. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts were on this couple's tragic love story. This has been Rumor Juice.